We have had training on top of training on top of training. I've been to Arlington, Virginia. I've been to Chapel Hill so many times, I believe my truck could go there by itself. <laughs> We've had training on top of training. And did you hear that we are no longer low performing? Mm -hmm. It was a process. And I said to everyone in this room now, we got to make sure that the things we put in place to start that process, that we don't let them turn around and go back to where we were. So first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for what you helped us to do. Then as I look in here, I got to do this to my peers, my, the members of the Halifax County Board of Education. Would you guys please stand? The members of the Halifax County Board of Education. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they work hard. They work hard. Sometimes we don't even agree. <laughs> Sometimes we do not. They care about children. I used to have a quote, education is our business, our only business. And that's what we are turning this to be. That is our only business. And we've come a long way. Then we have some special people in here. Uh, the commissioners. Would you guys please stay? We thank you and commissioners, I got to tell you this, we are friends. We are family. Is that what Sister Slade said? We are family. I'm an avid reader. I read everything I can pick my, put in my hands. I saw some reading this weekend that said, you know, there's a proposal given to the legislature, leg, legislature asking the school boards and the commissioners to actually get together because they can hold us to the fire board members. Mm -hmm. They're going to hold us to the fire to make sure that the money that you spend are directly related to your goals and objectives that you have set up. And they're going to hold each of the two accountable. Commissioners accountable because you're the one who gives the money. And board members holding you accountable because you're the one that have to make sure that it is wisely used. And you know what I think out of that? I don't see anything in the world wrong with that. So let me... Say to the two teams, we're going to do a whole lot, Mr. Bryant, a whole lot of working together. But I promise you this, I talk to our superintendent sometimes two, three times a day, sometimes more than that. Here's a gentleman, he wants the best for these children. I told Mr. Kobe, Dr. Cunningham, you don't know this, I told him my leadership style that I leave you alone. <laughs> And I told him, he said, Coach, that's what I believe in, delegating responsibility and assigning it and making sure that the person carries out the responsibilities you've given him. That's the relationship that I have with Dr. Cunningham. I tell him I don't want any surprises and tell me what it is that you're doing. Don't give me the minute details unless you think I need them. So I'll say that to everybody in here. He is working towards making sure that all monies are well spent, but making sure on top of that, that our children are as well educated as those any way. That sign that Everett Cynthia says, what? where is Cynthia? I saw Cynthia somewhere. Says the education is our business? Yeah. Our only business. And my sign at David Middle School says, better because we have to be. Now, I, I talked to Alex right there. Alex asked me, well, what in the world would you do with the money? I told Alex, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so glad you asked. Y'all, I, I just keep everything. There's so much there. But I told him some examples. And Mr. Few in a few minutes is going to tell you some examples. Having been a principal in Halifax County for 23 years, it's embarrassing to sit and see other people be able to do something, and you can't. That you have to make it work. And I told him it's embarrassing when you all coach and the two teams can't play an away game on the same night because they only have one activity bus. Mm -hmm. But the public doesn't know these kinds of things. It's embarrassing when you know that you have an algebra one class with 32 people in it, when you wish that you could break it down to two classes of 16 children each, but you can't afford another teacher. Now you don't have to ask now you have the funds to do that. 
We in this county, and people may not know that all we look in Georgia school system and a child is by his or her EOG score, where you are level four or you are level two. Well, let me tell you what that means, what the teachers in this county know to do. They know now to take that one and break that one down to find out what areas that you are weak at. They know how to take those goals on that goal summary sheet and to see what is it that I need to help you. For an instance, I am a diabetic. You can't treat me the way you treat those of you who are not diabetics. You can't treat every child the same. If I have a weakness in this skill, that supplemental tax gives me the ability now to hire me a teacher where I can do some pullouts if I need to, to work on this skill. Maybe I'm just be real simplistic with it. I'm a math major. Maybe you just don't know your multiplication tables. It's real hard for me to teach you how to factor a quadratic equation and you don't know your timetables. Well, now that gives me a, time, a chance to hire some people to help me. It gives me an opportunity now to open my building up on Saturdays and bring some teachers in to teach. It gives us a chance now, y'all, to play on the same playing field. And I thank you. I'm getting teary eyed. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I told somebody the other week, I came to Halifax County in 1969, y'all, and we didn't do nothing. The first day I came out there, the principal, Clem Williamson, took me to my classroom, and I was walking, saying, well, where are you taking me? He took me outside. I was at Inboard in high school, way around to the back, to a trailer. I said, man, I'm from Gates County. I know we poor in Gates County. I know this ain't my room. <laughs> but that was my classroom. And he handed me my keys, Mr. Kobe, and said, that's your gym, Clutch. You are my coach. I said, put me in there. I walked in that gym. I didn't even have any bleachers, y'all, in the gym. To play a game, you had to put chairs in the gym. Don't mind to tell you that we were 25 and 8, ranked number 2 in the state, and that I was coach of the year myself. <laughs> Don't tell nobody that. But I'm telling you all this to say, I'm so glad to stand here right now and say I don't have to get on my knees and beg anybody for anything. I can give these kids what they ought to have. All right. All right. All right. All right. That alone tells you why you're here today. To thank you. There's some very special people in here. You know who you are, Mr. Mill, Reverend McCullough, SCLC. Y'all yes, know who you are. We know you stood out there at the pole, spent all those hours at night. Ty Few, Josh Lashley, two board members who were appointed to that task. You know the, the, the name you've been called. Ty, we know you stood in, in, in un mentionable situations to have to tell people what this tax would do. And when I'm done, I'm getting ready to sit down in a minute. I want you to go back and tell how this old boy chair, how he felt about this, mm -hmm. such that our children can know that we do care about this, so that you can look up. And I told Mr. Kobe a few minutes ago, and I told Alex, you give us two years, and you're going to see the results of what this supplemental tax has done. Some of it is going to start instantly, but you give us two years, and you can compare. And I, I make signs. I have a sign that says Halifax County Schools, where all children are welcome. And you know, see, the good thing about that, I, I, I guess I, you all know I'm a math major. I just love numbers inside and out. But I'm not stupid either. I told somebody one day, I played basketball, ran track at Shaw University. I don't care how hard I practice at Shaw U. I swear we can't beat UNC Chapel Hill. <laughs> <laughs> you hear where I'm coming from? <laughs> but I tell you what, apples compared to apples, I beat the heck out of Elizabeth City and Fayetteville State and Winston State. <laughs> <laughs> now, why do you think I say that? I say that because as a principal, people always compare you with your test scores. And people always saying to the public school, well, why aren't you doing as well as the charter schools? And I used to say at principal at David Middle School, if you let me put out all the children who don't want to be here, 
the ones who are left, I have schools to compare with anybody's schools too. That's something that, that people who are not retired, they can't say this. The principals can't tell the boss that. But I can. <laughs> you let me be the coach at UNC Chapel Hill right now and give me that squad that he has. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't do bad. <laughs> I won't do bad. So now you come in Halifax County with equal funds. We won't do bad, but, and we're not going to put them out of school. We're going to teach the ones that are there. All right. And we're going to bring their schools up and measure us, compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. And you can say, wow, they did. Mm. We're going to do that. All we right. promise you, we're going to do that.